Let's do a concept question. A car is initially moving in reverse. The driver applies the brake, slowing the car. What is the direction of the car's acceleration? Is it positive x, negative x, or it depends? It could be either positive or negative. Take a second, think about it. If a car is moving in the positive direction and you apply a brake, then the direction of acceleration is negative. But if the car is moving initially in the reverse direction and the driver applies the brake, what happens? Well, the answer is the car will start moving towards the x direction, which is the positive direction. So the direction of the car's acceleration will be along the positive x direction. Example 2. An alpha particle travels along the inside of an evacuated straight tube 2 meters long that forms a part of the particle accelerator. The alpha particle enters the tube at t equal 0, moving at a constant velocity 9.5 times 10 to the 5 meters per second, and emerges from the other side with time t equals 8 times 10 to the minus 7 seconds. If the particle acceleration is constant, what is its acceleration? And number two, what is the velocity when it leaves the tube? So in this case, it is talking about an alpha particle, right? And it's saying that this alpha particle moves through this tube, which is two meters in length. And it says it enters at t equals zero and it leaves at a certain time, which the question gives me as 8 times 10 to the minus 7 seconds, right? And it says that it is moving at a constant velocity, initial velocity of um, 9.5 times 10 to the 5 meters per second, okay? And it's asking me, part A, what is the acceleration, okay? So now I have all the equations of motion that can help me. The first of all, I think equation two might be very useful. So I'm going to use equation two, which is delta x equals v naught t plus a half a t squared, okay? I know delta, delta x, which is two meters minus zero meters, the length of the, the tube, times V naught, which was 9.5 times 10 to the five meters per second. T is given as eight times 10 to the minus seven seconds, plus a half A and eight times 10 to the minus seven seconds squared, okay? Now I have all the things that I'm going to need. So all I need to do is like solve for A and I can figure out what A is. And the units for A will be meters per second squared. So in part B, it asks me what is its velocity when it leaves? So it's asking me for VF, okay? Now, is there an equation that can help me? Yes, I have A, I have initial velocity, I have T, I have M. Okay, what if I use my equation number one, right? Does anybody remember what equation one was? Plus AT. This is what I want. This is given. This is calculated. So you should have a number here that goes in here. Plus, oh sorry, multiplied by eight times 10 to the minus seven seconds, okay? And then it's only a matter of plug and chug. So VF should come out to be something meters per second.